Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As mentioned in last week's video, I have got a product re review for you today. Uh, the product in question being the mystery box from Alien Magic Car Care. Uh, I got my box around three months ago now, so it's given me plenty of time to test out the products that I received and formulate my opinions ready to tell you what I think about them. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you what I got in my mystery box. I'm going to run you through my thoughts on the products and also some more information on the products that I found on the Alien Magic website. You'll also be seeing me use the products on the rather mucky Range Rover that you saw in the introduction. Before we get into the video, I'd like to say a big thank you for all the positive feedback on the last video. Also, all the people that subscribed and liked the video and left a comment, it really does help out. If you're watching this channel for the first time, really help if you did subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment, it all helps. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Right, so we've moved over now, we've moved away from the back wall and we're over at the workbench. Um, just a heads up, if you see, do see me looking down, I'm just looking down at my little book of notes here so I don't forget any of the information on the products. Um, so, I'm just going to run you through what I got. I went for a small mystery box, which came in at $29.99. And in that, you get at least £50 worth of products. They also do a medium and a large. The medium is $49.99 and you get at least £80 worth of products. And the large is $79.99 and you get at least £120 worth of products. Um, so they're pretty good value as well as being a cool, a cool little um, product. Uh, in my case, I didn't, I didn't buy it for that sort of surprise elements that you, that you usually buy a mystery box for. I bought it as an introduction to Alien Magic as a brand because I haven't ordered from them before. So I thought, what better way to introduce myself? I'll get this mystery box, and it was a, a real good introduction to the brand as a whole because I got a good wide range of products in small little sample sizes, so little 250ml bottles, which you can't actually buy on the website, you can only buy 500ml or 5 litres. Um, so these little sample size bottles gave me a really good introduction. The first product I want to move on to is Tsunami Citrus Snow Foam, which isn't actually here, so I used all of that product and then forgot I was filming a video on it and stupidly threw the bottle away, so I do apologise for that. It's a citrus based snow foam, as it says in the name, citrus snow foam. Um, but it's also high pH as well, which means you're going to get that really, that double whammy of cleaning power, the citrus power and the high pH. Um, they recommend a dilution ratio of 100ml uh, to 900ml of water, uh, so 1 to 9. Um, if you're going to buy it, the 500ml bottle, which is what I got sent, um, so unlike the rest of them, it wasn't 250ml, it was 500ml, you're going to be getting about 5 washes out of that using their um, recommended dilution ratio. And that works out at about two pound per wash. Uh, if you move up to their five liters, um, that's thirty nine ninety nine. So a big bump up in price, four times the price, but you're getting ten times more product. So it works out a lot cheaper per wash. So you get fifty washes, and that works out at sixty pence per wash. It's got a bit of an odd smell when it's undiluted. A very odd smell. Not very citrusy. It's, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's just not very nice. Um, but once once diluted and it comes out the snow uh, the snow foam gum. I found it was a lot more of a pleasant smell, a lot milder and a bit more citrusy. Very thick and clingy foam, even at their dilution ratio, which is quite a low amount of product to add to one litre, uh, to a one litre snow foam lance. Of course, you can either dial back the water or add more product to make it thicker, but I don't really think you need to. I think it is perfectly nice and thick as it comes out the lance. Really good cleaning power, like I said, you're getting that citrus and that pH, that high pH, um, double whammy there, so... Yeah, it does really clean well and it, it, it took the majority of the dirt off of that Range Rover. Granted, the Range Rover had quite a low amount of contamination on the paintwork and uh, a very small amount of protection on there from the last time um, that it was cleaned. So, obviously, if you've got no protection on your car or there's more contamination in the paintwork, it's not going to do as good of a job, but that goes for any pre-wash solution that you use. Uh, it's fully biodegradable, so although it's really thick, it does break down very quickly, and when it does break down, it's safe for the environment, it's not going to do much damage. Uh, some of these snow foams, especially the thick ones like this, they have a lot of foam stabilizers in them, and you come back the next morning, and there's still a big puddle of snow foam on your driveway or wherever you wash your car. It's not a problem for me, because I'm always washing cars, but you don't really want a pile of snow foam sat on your driveway if that's where you wash your car. Um, but all in all, a really good product, really strong cleaning, 
like I said, really good value for money, uh, especially if you go for the five liters, working out just 60p per wash. However, if you're a bit more of a weekend warrior, you're just cleaning your pride and joy at the weekends or once or twice throughout the week, you might want to go for the smaller bottle. Um, it's a bit less of a bulk price to pay, to pay, although it might not work out as cheap in the long run. You're going to be able to use that and maybe jump between different brands, different products. Up next, we've got Wave, the wash and wax shampoo. It's a really nice scent on that actually, um, even when it's not in the water. Uh, so it's a bit of like a, it's not a bubblegum smell, it's more like a, a Haribo Tanfastic smell if you've ever had those. They, they, um, that's what I can compare it to. Um, it's got, like the snow foam, a really good dilution ratio. So they recommend one to 500, which is very good. Um, and typically I've got 25 litre wash buckets in my wash bucket, not my rinse bucket. My rinse bucket I fill up all the way. My wash bucket I'll fill up about halfway. So about 12 and a half litres of um, water. You only need 25 mil of product in that, which is really good. So even out of this tiny little 250 milliliter bottle, you're still getting 10 washes out of that small bottle. And they don't sell it in that size, they only sell it in 500 mil or five liters. So 500 mil is 11.99. Out of that, you'll get 20 washes, and that's 60p per wash. And five liters of product is 39.99, and you're getting 200 washes out of that at 20p per wash, which is really good value for money. Um, it's not massively high foaming. I've got a big 25 liter, um, jug of trade shampoo that I use for a lot of my um, a lot of my cars that come in and that's it's more that's more foamy than this is but it does have um, really good slickness really helps the the microfiber glide over the paintwork which is always good um, it claims to add a layer of wax as you wash uh, I didn't see much protection rinsing it off but then again you don't expect much from these sort of products they're not meant to be used as a standalone product they're simply there to sort of back up your existing protection on the paintwork might have been a little bit of sheeting there but really not much but all in all good cleaning power nice scent very good dilution ratio and the prices are bang on in line with a lot of the other stuff on the market so nothing to complain about there another really good product Right, on to the next product, which is the Wrath, the Iron Fallout Remover. Really thick gel-like formula, uh, very clingy, spray it on, it sort of sits where it is for a few seconds before it starts to run. Um, compared to other uh, Iron Fallout Removers, anyone that's used a lot of them, a lot of them smell really bad. They've got a high, um, I believe it's sulfur dioxide. Um, I might be wrong, but that's, I believe that's what's, what smells in it. Uh, it's really eggy. Um, smells a bit like farts, to be honest. It's not very nice. Uh, but this was almost edging on the side of a pleasant smell, a bit of a perfume smell. It wasn't, it wasn't actually that bad, which is really nice to see. Um, but it didn't, it didn't take away from the, um, the strength of the product because you spray it on and straight away it, it gives you that color change indicating that it's starting to break down the iron contamination, whereas some other ones that I've used, you spray on, you have to leave it for a few seconds before it starts to show any color change. Goes a really strong color change as well to a dark purple, almost almost black in some areas when it um, when it comes it comes into contact with a lot of iron. They claim that it won't stain or streak. Um, I'm guessing that's uh, it won't stain and streak any material you use it on because. I'm guessing if you if you did leave it to dry, like a lot of them warn you don't let this product dry. If you did leave it to dry, I'm guessing it probably would still do some damage. So you don't want to let iron remove dry on your paintwork. Um, use it undiluted um, for 500 milliliters, it's 11.99, and for five liters, it is 49.99. So that comes in line with the other sort of um, well-known brands in the sort of the detailing industry. So once again, another good product. Nothing bad to say about it, it worked really well, and that pleasant smell is a really good plus point for it. So up next we've got the Aqua, uh, the hydrophobic wet coat. So this is one of those wet coat products, once you've washed the car, you rinse off any soap suds, and it's just plain water on the panel. While the car's still wet, you spritz this, spritz this over the panel, and then rinse it off with a steady stream of water. Um, nothing too powerful, because you don't want to knock it off, so I'd recommend either standing back with your pressure washer, or if you've got a 
quick release or you've just got a hose pipe to hand just using the stream of water um, to rinse it off. They say when you use it neat to spray it on and rinse it off straight away, I would recommend with most of these products, just leaving them for a couple of seconds, let them do their thing and then rinse it off. Uh, that way you know that you're getting the full uh, use of the product. Uh, there's also three other ways to apply this product. So use it neat, spritz it on the panel. That's gonna be your main sort of first time application of it. You can also use it diluted in a bucket of water and once you've done your contact wash, you can use it like a secondary shampoo and like wash your car a second time with this product in a bucket. Excuse me. That's gonna use, um, it's gonna add a layer of protection. That way, once again, wipe it on, rinse it off. Um, you can also use it in a snow foam lancer, a five to 10% dilution. Um, so spray it on, leave it, rinse it off. You can also use it in a spray bottle, almost, almost in the same way as you would use a quick detailer. Uh, use it to sort of top up your aqua coat on your car. So that's diluted at one to 50, which is another very um, weak dilution ratio, which is good. Um, it's not gonna add the same protection as using it neat, but then again, it's just gonna top up your existing coating that you would do the first time of using the product. It does leave an excellent gloss. I can say that from experience, it is really good. Um, really good sort of wet look. And they claim up to 12 weeks of protection, which I'm not sure on. Um, I haven't tested it myself, so I can't say anything on that, but that does seem like a lot of protection for one of these products, so I, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, up to, so it could be anything below that. Um, so for 500 ml of product, you're looking at 11.99, and for five liters, 44.99, which is again, like the other products, sort of bang on in there in the middle of the market, which is um, really nice to see. So again, another good product, not a product I'd use as much as the other ones on display here, but um, a good product nonetheless. So next we've got Krypton, which is their SiO2 based quick detailer. So obviously SiO2, it's not your full blown ceramic coating sort of ceramic, but you're still getting a bit of ceramic in there. Um, you could use it as a standalone product or use it to back up your existing coating on your car. So they claim it's got an apple fragrance. I didn't get much of an apple fragrance, but it is a very sort of citrusy, fruity fragrance out of it. Um, and they say it has anti-static properties. So obviously when you're spraying it on your car, any sort of dust on the car, it's gonna help to lift away. Instead of just spreading it over your car, it's gonna help it lift up into the microfiber. Um, it's water-based, which means it's um, completely dark biodegradable like some of their other products. Um, you can use it on the internal internals of the car and the outside. So I tend to use it on my dashboard, uh, steering wheel, interior glass, um, not the windows, but like the um, the radio stuff like that. Especially if if it's not dirty and you don't want to be getting out your APCs and scrubbing, it, just give it a spritz with that and wipe it over. It gets any dust off and leaves almost like a bit of a, a matte sheen on the plastic, which is really nice. Um, then you can obviously use it on the paintwork and glass on the exterior of the car and it leaves a really nice wet gloss look in the same way that the Aqua does. <clears throat> when using it, I tend to spray it onto the panel and then also mist the microfiber, uh, spread it all the way over the panel, doing a panel at a time, and then get a dry, separate dry, soft microfiber and buff it off. When buffing it, it's really, really slick to buff. It's, the microfiber just glides over the paintwork which is lovely. Um, it can be safely used on all surfaces as well. Uh, so you, don't, you haven't got to worry about it drying or uh, staining plastics or rubbers or chrome, which is really, really nice. Uh, so 500 mil, 11.99 and five liters, 39.99, which again is, a, is a, just a standard sort of good price for one of these products. So up next, we've got slick tire and trim dressing. Now, this is actually probably one of my favorite products out of the whole bunch. Um, and so much so that I've actually gone and ordered, let me just find a few, another 500 milliliters of it. Um, so yeah, their tire and trim uh, dressing. Um, it's a very oily product as it comes out the bottle. Um, so you want to be wearing gloves or something because it does get all over your hands. Um, especially actually, that's a comment I want to make on these cheap, spray bottles, the, the spray top, sorry. Um, I haven't had a problem with any on the Aqua or the Wrath, but on the ones on the Krypton and the Slick, 
um, they have started to leak around the bottom as you're using the product. So it's not so bad on the quick detailer because it just wipes off, but it's a bit of a problem on the slick because it, you tend to get very oily hands and the bottle gets all oily after using it. Um, but the ones on the bigger bottles do seem a lot better quality, so I'm hoping for better things from that. Um, so yeah, it's very oily as it comes out. They claim it's got a, um, a range of hand-picked silicon oils in it, so it sounds a bit smart. Uh, they claim no sling off the tires, which is also always good. You don't want the uh, plastic dressing slinging up off of your tires onto your paintwork and leaving smears or anything like that. And um, they claim a no-run um, formula, so if the product gets wet when it's on, uh, if you apply it to a bumper and then the bumper gets wet, it's not going to run off, um, which I can, I can actually say. That is true. Um, I applied it to the the black um, arches and trim on a is it R53, I believe, um, Mini Cooper. Might be wrong, uh, Mini Cooper S. And <clears throat> yeah, it didn't run off in the rain. I had a problem with another tar another dressing that I have running off in the rain, so I applied some of this, and it didn't run off at all. It leaves a a really nice glossy finish, which I like on some finishes. However, if you don't like that, you can buff it back and it does buff back to a bit more of a um, satin sheen, which is really nice. So it's um, straight out of the bottle, no dilution. Um, that's how you use it. 500 milliliters is 11.99 and five liters is 39.99. So like I said, I think it's totally worth the money. Really good product, which is hence why I went back and bought some more. Finally, the just a quick one, the Super Soft Wash Mitt. Um, it is really soft, it's a synthetic wash mitt, it's not microfiber, um, which means it is a bit cheaper, it comes in at $6.99 on the website, um, but it does still act in sort of the same way, it lifts the dirt off of the um, panel rather than scrubbing it in, and it is, as they state, I uh, can back up, it is really absorbing, it really does soak up that water and that product that you're using it with. Right, so to sum up my experience with the Mystery Box and with Alien Magic as a whole, um, firstly on to Alien Magic, their website is absolutely brilliant, they've got a massive selection of products and it's a really easy to use website, so a big thumbs up from me there. Um, great shipping, often things, I just, I just click on the standard shipping and um, often things would arrive quicker than I anticipated, which is really good. I can't comment on their customer services, which I guess in some respects is a good thing because I've ordered from, from them three times now, I haven't had to ring them up once, which is, um, which is a pretty good sign. Um, really nice packaging, apart from, as we discussed, the, uh, the, the dodgy spray bottles, um, but the packaging itself looks really nice with that carbon fiber effect on the labels. Everything comes nicely packaged, um, boxed up in a cardboard box. Um, no plastic wrapping, which is nice to see. It's all shredded cardboard and paper wrapped up inside to protect everything. Um, very good, high quality products, really good value for money on some of the products, the rest of them are uh, bang on with what you would reckon, what you would see with other products on the market. And they also have a massive range of products, like I said. Uh, so not just what we've seen today, which is your basic sort of cleaning, maintaining products. They have ceramic coatings, they have abrasives, they've got polishing pads, they've got a huge range of equipment as well. So they've just released their snow foam lance. Um, they've got their coloured snow foam range, which I've got a few of, which I might do a video on in the future. They are a bit of fun. Um, so yeah, really good company on the whole, really impressed with them and I'm glad I, I um, decided to buy a mystery box from them um, just to get me into their into their products because it's worked. I've, uh, I've gone and bought some more and I'm even thinking about buying some more of that citrus snow foam because that was really good as well. Um, so I'd highly recommend going to get one of these mystery boxes, whether it's a bit of a surprise, a gift for someone or Maybe you're like me and you want to just see what their, what their company is really about, but I would definitely recommend getting one of these mystery boxes. So guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like what you saw, please don't hesitate to hit the, uh, the like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll leave a link to below to my, uh, my social media. So that's um, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for the feedback on the last video. I hope to get the same sort of feedback on this video. I hope you enjoyed this format, the uh, the brand review format. Uh, I understand if you're not into detailing, it's not going to be sort of your thing. I'm going to be looking at doing some sort of more of those satisfying videos that sort of uh, appeal to a lot more people in the future, as well as doing this kind of stuff. But once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.